Hello guys! I've been watching a lot of Nikki tutorials. I don't know if you can, because that's her intro. Hello guys! Or whatever. Just got out of, of class. Um, I'm an esthetician student, so like I'm still in my scrubs. Um, I think I am going to go into TJ Maxx right now. And we are going to, oh my god, people were like looking at me like, what is this girl doing talking to, well I guess I could be FaceTiming someone, whatever, don't do this. I'm going to take you guys with me to go to DJ Max, and we are going to look at some, I guess skincare products, maybe look at some makeup too just to see what they have. I'm going to go and get some, pick pick some out, pick some cute ones, and I was thinking maybe go home, look up the ingredients. I have a ingredient, um, like kind of a dictionary thing that I could go through and I'll read out the ingredient list. Anyways, so um, it's pretty popping here. It usually always is. Every time I go in, there's always people in there, so I'm gonna try to be really inconspicuous with uh, the talking and carrying the camera around. That kind of makes me feel uncomfortable because I don't want to deal with anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone. So let's go. Let's go get some uh, some face masks. Maybe uh, I don't know. I guess it's a, a, a taking, I guess this would be like a um, home with me shopping it's a cheap TJ Maxx or like mainly probably like you guys just watching my tank looking a very professional in my scrubs. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I might have caught the June blues. Yeah, I wanna drown myself inside the juice. Yeah, you know I keep on running from the truth. Was that not? I'm just a lonely fucking you. Now when I drive around, don't fill it up. Why it's getting colder when the sun comes? I had to get out of there quick because I spend money so quick. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I am back home. So let me show you guys what I actually got. When I initially went in, I was thinking about getting just like the individual ones, but I actually didn't see a lot of those. I just really got the ones that uh, were attractive to me. So first, I got this bubble tea tea mask. I thought is so cute and then I got this white tea cosmeta whatever that says I thought that was really cute and then there was two of these that I wanted but then this one that I got which is rice I'm going to just you know take them all and try it out read the ingredients see what it's about also got some makeup too because I have no self-control and anytime I see makeup I will probably buy it but that's for a later video I don't even know what those look like so I'll probably do is watching first impressions we're going to try this out I did some research on this I read the ingredients but let me tell you guys what it's uh, supposed to do um, the mango bubble tea mask is supposed to be moisturizing, brightening, and firming. Mango seed butter nourishes, moisturizes, and softens the skin. Fine lines and wrinkles are reduced after application, giving your skin a baby soft feel and glow. A girl needs the glow. So just like any sheet mask, you just put it on your face and um, relax and enjoy the treatment for 10 to 20 minutes. Toss and glow. 
So it has a shelf life of three years. It says keep in a cool place and out of reach of infants and children. Glad to know. I did go ahead and read all the ingredients and I wrote it down and I looked it up in my uh, Milady dictionary. I looked up all the ingredients in here. There were a few that I couldn't find um, in here, but I'm sure I can Google it. Okay, so the ingredients go, and I'm gonna read them in order, and know that I'm probably going to butcher recipe, so bear with me. Water, carboner, but butylene glycol, sodium hyaluronate, eight hyaluronate, Propyl glycol. Oh my god, this is this is like literally the worst thing I've ever had to do. Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna put up on the screen. These are the ingredients. I'm gonna tell you which one uh, does what. Uh, I'm butchering this. Imagine if I just made a video of me just literally doing this. Just like 15 minutes of me looking for something. Okay, so for the second ingredient, carboner, it's a basically a thickening agent. Right here is the third ingredient. And it is a solvent with a good antimicrobial action and can mask odors. The fourth ingredient is a humectant. Probably saying that wrong, but it's fine. It can increase moisture in the skin. It is a common moisturizer carrying vehicle. It has a pleasant feel and it's a solvent for antioxidants and preserves and can also be an irritant at a high concentration. Next one is a pro-vitamin B5, acts as a penetrating moisturizer, aids tissue repair, enhances skin suppleness, and acts as an anti-inflammatory, um, and also it is a, a non-condo, I can never say this, a non-comedogenic raw material <laughs> ingredient is a anti-inflammatory, soothing, antifungal, and skin protecting, and it is okay for sensitive skin. The next ingredient is an emollient, supposed to be moisturizing and also anti-inflammatory. The next ingredient, it is a spreading agent, and it is supposed to be antioxidant, um, found in all living organisms ingredient I actually did not find in the book but I'm probably going to insert something here maybe this ingredient a good moisturizer and lubricant uh, for softer smooth skin so the next ingredient is supposed to be a healing and calming and soothing uh, non-allergenic and then uh, the next ingredient is collagen which is in absolutely everything ever known about skincare and it is supposed to be an effective skin moisturizer and skin protectant and the next ingredient it's another emollient and then the next ingredient is a non-toxic organic salt it is for um, yeast mainly yeast some mold and bacteria uh, so basically it's a preserve and then uh, so the next ingredient is an inorganic salt used as a water softer softener um, it is moderately irritating to some ingredient is flavor um, doesn't specify what flavor so I don't know and the next ingredient is to um, maintain product stability. It is supposed to be skin lightening and anti-inflammatory, antioxidating properties, naturally occurring in grain, seeds, and beans. And then the very last ingredient is an antimicrobial, and basically another preserve. Um, I did look that one up a little bit, and it did say that it could be toxic. Open her up. I actually do love bubble tea, not mango, I actually really like taro bubble tea. 
Okay, so first, uh, let's read the directions. Okay, so after cleansing and toning, um, place the cloth side on your face. Relax and enjoy for 10, 20 minutes. Uh, remove mask and then massage remaining essence into the skin. Finish with your normal routine. At first, I am going to take off my makeup. I up this mop head. Okay, she's cute. <laughs> so I'm going to remove my eye makeup with um, uh. Lately, I be long asking what it's all for. Winter time, they be bagging hoes like it's a dance sport. I can at my age oh, wow. and maybe go and just relax more, but it be fucking that dumb to question everything I ask for. Uh, and now we finally gonna do this shit big. And I can't have no girl go blaming on the way I'm that I live. Maybe cause I'm isolated, this one's stuck in my head. She ain't no thought, but it could just be how the memory is. I still remember the hips. Next, and I ain't mean no waste I time reminiscing the shit. But this is all that I get. Cause we the best fucking thing and it ain't come to exist. Closer. That shit was corny, but I had to be said that she my brown hair blue eyed chick and she the one i ain't know i get for the punchline she be why i broke my she fist punching walls and shit is that regressive like bitch but we not talking so i guess i'm like going tell her with this like people will do when they do skincare i saw one but i didn't get it i'm not sure why So good. That was so boring. I don't, I didn't even do that again. But I will if, you know, I guess you guys like that. But I'll do it for the other ones. I was gonna do all of it all at once, but then I started to do this one and I was like, uh, this is a lot of work. Oh my God, that really does smell like actual. Oh, she's dripping mango tea okay <laughs> this is gonna be a mess it is like literally dripping in this stuff I probably shouldn't get this in my eye Now that the mask is gone, it is currently 3.55, so I'm going to leave this on for about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and let you guys know how it feels. Right now, usually with these masks, um, I, I tend to burn a little bit. I mean, I don't have sensitive skin, but some things do kind of irritate my skin, like can cause um, a little bit of redness and some burning. This is pleasant. This feels so far, it feels very nice. I mean, it's a little thicker than most uh, sheet masks. Besides that, I don't feel, I, mean, I feel a slight tingling. But it's not bad, it's not like irritating or anything, so. See ya in 15. She got the passion of a superstar. She looks so free eyes under her disguise. Don't forget the night. She needs a little bit of uh, moisturizing and brightening and firming too. Okay, so it has been 15 minutes. And surprisingly, this thing has not 
like it's still really really wet and like really dirty like like it's thick it's a thick Mask. I just feel very much face. Look at my grace, don't match up, no love. Look at fate. I just fade when I hit the jack. You can get the pie. This stuff is thick. Oh, that's expensive. I roll flex in my ear. Like, I don't even know if it's possible for my face to be able to absorb this much liquid. Like, it's almost overwhelming. Soft, don't speak. Fuck, I don't know you. Yeah, get run through by my team. Who said I could just be dropping them hits like blitz? About my cheek, like press the elbows. Fuck a big K, don't trip. Y'all don't know people like this. Y'all don't know people like this. Okay, guys, so like conclusion like is actually not bad. I I feel pretty good. I feel hydrated. Very thick, very gloopy. Say how many times uh, a week you should do this. Not very irritant enough for anyone to do it probably every single day. So far, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty hydrated. I think um, it is a little bit brightening. I don't really feel firm, uh, so I don't know what that was about. And also looking at the ingredients, I think the only um, firming ingredient Running out bare, I can hit the stairs. So it doesn't really feel firming, but it does feel kind of, it does feel very hydrated. I think a lot of the ingredients is very hydrating, so I do feel very hydrated. I feel very good. My skin does feel, well right now it's a little tacky, but I think once the skin absorbs the excess product, it'll probably be a lot smoother. But for first impressions, I would buy this product again. I would use it again. It feels very good. I have four more, so I probably will be using it again. And maybe do um, an update as to how my skin feels, um, you know, after the full box usage. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys come back and watch another video of mine. I need to find like a thing, you know, like an outro, like a thing. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living.